What is up, YouTube Fish Tube and Fish Fam? It's yours truly, Rob, with the Free Aquariums, and today I'm excited to bring you this very cool unboxing. So you're probably wondering what's in the box. Stay tuned. We'll check it out. So I appreciate you taking time out of your hectic and busy day to check out my video. I do apologize that I have not been doing a lot of videos. I still have some stuff in the making and uh, there's just stuff going on that requires more attention behind the lens than doing this. But it's time to uh, breathe some life into my channel and uh, get things re-going again. So let's get into this unboxing. A little bit of the backstory is uh, John and Lisa from KG Tropicals. Um, most of you folks know who they are. Live stream every Thursday. Um, if you don't know who they are, definitely go check out their channel. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can go check them out. Uh, tons of information. They are entertaining, very informative, uh, just a, a good group of people. Um, I did have the luxury of meeting them last October and, and hanging out for quite a bit. So uh, we went from just fellow YouTubers to what I think is safe to say we're good friends. So without further ado, let's jump into this unboxing. Can you guess what it is? Bet you can't. Like Rack from River Life, always got to have your handy box opener. Tons of this. I use this at work. I hate this stuff. It is everywhere. Alright folks, here you go. What you have here is the Fluval 407. The new Fluval canister that came out on the market here probably within the last few months. So, as I mentioned, John from KG Croppables and Lisa were doing a giveaway. And I actually won. So, I was really stoked about that. We were given a choice of the filters. And uh, they've redesigned a lot of stuff in this filter. Uh, this particular one I went with the 407 because I like to over filter a little bit. Who am I kidding? I like to try to over filter a lot, at least four to five times. Um, this one is rated between 50 and 100 gallons, and it's actually a pretty decent unit. I don't know if you can see that, but they actually show you the workings of the filter list of all the models. They say it's quiet. We will find out. I'm just undecided to what tank I'm going to put this on. Uh, this particular one is 23 watts. For those who are wondering, you know, how much is it going to raise your electric bill? Um, and supposedly it's 25% quieter than the previous fluvals that are out there. Um, they have four different models. They have the 107, the 207, the 307, and this big mamma gem of a 407. Um, the 107 is 10 to 30 gallons. The 207 is 20 to 45. The 307 is 40 to 70. And then, of course, the 407 is 50 to 100. And... Let's see, what other tidbits do they have? Vertical pre-filter, which is on this filter, 1,074 centimeters squared. Uh, total chamber volume, 6.0 liters. Uh, canister volume in total, 9.2 liters. And the dimensions, which is another key factor, especially with some of these stands now where you don't have a lot of space underneath, um, 9.57 by 7 by 
And for those that use centimeters, look at that. I'm not only in the U.S., but I love my folks in Canada and worldwide. Um, 24 by 18 by 49 centimeters. And like I said, it's 23 watt and also says 20, which I'm assuming is outside of the U.S. So with this filter, here, I'll make a little pedestal and make it a little easier to see what I'm doing here. You have several options with this new filter. Uh, Biofoam, Biomax, again this is all fluval product. Um, the carbon, the uh, ammonia remover, the zeocarb, which you know, removes toxins, odors, ammonia. Um, there's also a phosphate remover pad. Now, I'm going to stall for just a minute and talk about the phosphate remover pads um, and the fact that, you know, I really haven't done a lot of videos. Um, I did start to piece together a video for the Aquion um, 20 hang on back that I use to over filter my 10 gallon tank, and it actually has a tray to put in these type of pads. They're, they're small little pads, they fit down in the filtering cone. Um, but just to touch on that quick, uh, or also to add to it, on my 75 Cicla tank, um, I actually got the Acurel phosphate removing pads cut to fit, and I put those in my Aqua Clear 110. Um, and I did a little test to see, you know, how well it works, if it does work. Um, so you have to stay tuned for that video to find out what I think, and I'll show you as I go through, you know, what I noticed. Um, but to get back to this, nitrate remover pads, and I said nitrates, not nitrates, um, and peat granules, which all natural way to acidify your water. So for discus folks um, and fish that love a little more acidic water, you can put that in this bad boy. So that's all stuff that they sell separately, of course. 30% um, more filtering area because you're using a vertical filter um, as well as your trays going up. So basically, this filter comes with um, the free media, so you get, um, ah, what the hell, we'll open it up and I'll show you what you get. say that the new ergonomic aqua stop quick disconnect hose from canister makes fast action maintenance. Alright, if I can get this open. Lord, they got more stickers on here to keep the box closed than Fort Knox got locks. Just wondering why it wasn't opening. around so definitely a plus on their packaging all right so here we go they have three meters 17 inch 17 meters in diameter hose 9.8 feet for those of you in the states for the um, intake outtake it is a rib hose definitely light but it has that like chintzy feel to it, um, you know, because you're so used to that um, silicone hose or the regular hose that you get with other filters. Hey, look, it's a close up. This is their, um, let's see, what do they call it? Kind of hard, I mean, I have no room to do anything. Um, it's called their Aqua Stop. 
valve. So it actually makes cleaning quicker. So like I said, I showed you the hose. Um, not sure if I mentioned it correctly. It's three meters or 9.8 inches long and it's 17 millimeters in diameter. As I showed you earlier, the aqua stop, quick and easy cleaning, flip it up. Well, there's a gray lever back here. You'll close that to stop the water, pop this up, pull it out the top, and you're ready to go clean. This does not come with a spray bar, but it does come with the wand. And it also comes with your intake tube. The fluval clips that a lot of you are familiar with for clipping into the tank. And they don't pre-install the o-ring for the head. You do that on your own. So this way too, you don't have to worry about any sort of manufacturer defects or somebody installing it wrong and pinching it when they install a head. So you get to do it yourself. So here it is. The Fluval 407, the Series 7 redesigned they've added rubber feet to minimize vibration and cut down on noise they beefed up their clamps they also changed the power head so that it's quieter than its predecessors easy prime so let's take a look inside you flip out your fingers or your head, your holders. Release your fingers on both sides. And it's that easy. As I mentioned about the aqua stop, it fits right into here. Your gray lever on the back of the aqua stop is to shut off the water flow, and then your release sits down in this cavity. So, definitely quick and easy. As I mentioned, you will install the o ring yourself. Now, this is a rubber, thick rubber membrane. This has little tabs that fit down inside of what I'll show you in a minute. You also have the membrane here for your water flow and then if we look inside those little tips I mentioned sit in this recess now Fluval is the only one to have this vertical pre-filter we'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like now, all right so we've taken the head off and as I mentioned they give you a little handle here to pull out your pre-filter. So as you see here in the pre-filter, you have what a lot of folks are familiar with that use the AquaClear hang-on backs is that foam. Not as thick, but you have two separate pieces here that go the width of the pre-filter your entranceway for the water and then you have your two sections of convoluted foam now with this just like an English muffin it's got nooks and crannies what are they good for to hold that hot melted butter so that first bite just fills you with mm -mm goodness here it's gonna trap a lot of your particles that are in your water before it enters the main filtration um, also too this is perfect for all that beneficial bacteria to colonize on so that when that murky nasty water comes through just like an English muffin they get to feed on what's in that water fits in tight in the canister Lighting is not the greatest, but as you see, it'll slide. There's some grooves for routing and stuff down in the bottom. 
But if you see here with this basket, there's no gaps in there. It's a tight fit. So to clean, now as you see, this top clips pretty much right into it. Got the little fingers. Now, this is what they call the um, easy lift. That little orange piece there. Just stick your finger in the loop, and voila, empty. As you see some of those channels there, it's definitely solid plastic, not that cheap, flimsy stuff that you get on some of the other filters. So now, with this filter, like I said, you see here, there's really no gaps. It would be super fine particles that would only find their way out, but they're gonna get caught in that pre-filter, which is 30% uh, more filtering on top of this. So with that little orange piece, it fits right in the bottom. Comes right off. So what you have in the baskets comes with media. You have carbon. Now this looks like carbon, but it's actually not. It's Fuvel's Quick Clear. Um, I guess the best way to put it is it is similar to Chemipure. It gets rid of the organics in the water to give uh, a much more pristine appearance as well as a, a much healthier environment for your fish by getting those organics out there that might otherwise slip through uh, some of the filter medias that are out there. Then in your third tray, you have their bio. Get two bags of bio. That's in the third tray. And then last but not least, you have your filtering floss, which is something that you could definitely DIY to cut costs down the road. And then you have your coarse filter. And as with the pre-filter, convoluted foam, nooks and crannies, so that it's going to catch that debris, excuse me, a large part of it, part of it before it hits this, which is already pre-filtered from the vertical. So you have that. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this around watching some of Pond Guru's videos. Um, you can buy this, but of course you can buy it from Fuvel. Um, as you saw in the earlier part, um, some of the items that come with this. So, quick and easy. I kind of wonder why, like with this design, why they didn't just keep it as one piece. And that way you just had one piece of floss and then one piece of the convoluted foam has to do with some sort of optimum filtration, I would guess. So you're done maintaining your tank. And as you see, it fits in nice and tight. Helps with that bypass. And the baskets are solid as well. They're they're a nice, uh, they have a nice feel to them. Like I said, it doesn't feel like a lot of the, um, I'll say cheaper model filters that have that like, it almost feels like it'd be brittle. And when you tap it, it almost sounds brittle. And over time they could just, you'll start to see those spiders forming in the corners from the stress. So with this filter, 
you don't have to worry about putting it back together wrong because it's got this ridge that's going to hold that vertical filter. And of course it's curved. So everything fits right in. And the same with this. Only one way to put it in. Put your top back in and like I said it has little feet that fit inside of the top basket so it's snug you're not getting any of the top moving what you hear me doing now is I'm moving the entire stack so I'll show you this really quick um, as I showed earlier this is the aqua stop you're in and out your um, valve shut off which it has these little raised ridges going from long to short basically showing you that you're shutting off your water supply so pretty simple normally I would wet these o-rings before you put it in here but you basically put it right in. So now, if this was kind of in the down position, like that, when you put it in, and you know it's seated because that pops up. Now you're locked into place. You take this. Now your valves are open and you're getting full flow of water. I imagine you can because the way it has that drawing on there that you could slow your flow down a little bit. But like guys, we don't read manuals. It's probably in the manual. So I mean, pretty simplistic. Hey, I got to clean my filter. Flow is slow. As soon as you pull it up, it rises itself out. You're ready to go clean. So what are my thoughts on this? This is a bad mamma jamma. So other than being a bad mamma jamma, my initial thoughts on the Flugel 407 uh, from their Series 7 line, um, it's a pretty solid unit. Uh, I haven't plugged it in yet to turn it on. I'm deciding what tank I'm going to put it on. Uh, as I mentioned, the gallons per hour, I think personally it's suited more for a 50, maybe up to a 75. Um, maybe a lightly stocked 100, but um, like I said, I like to over filter. But the components themselves don't feel cheap. The way the baskets actually stack up with no gaps in between them will definitely either prevent or reduce the amount of bypass. Um, the vertical filter, which again, Fluval is the only one that has that, you know, on the market as I speak, um, definitely trapping a lot of that stuff as it comes into the filter before it filters out through the main body. Um, the gallons per hour for whatever tank I'm going to put it on. Uh, more than likely my 55 that I just acquired for free. Um, I think that would be ideal for that. The uh, change in the motor and the motor design so that it's, it's going to be quieter. Um, I have a lot of faith that it will be. The additions of the rubber feet so that you don't get the vibration, you don't get the noise of it vibrating. Um, the sleekness and design, I really like. Um, I like, you know, certain sleekness to everything. And the size overall, I think, would fit in a lot of the stands. Um, like my Cascade 1000, I can't put it under my 55. There's not enough headroom for the intake and outtake on it. So in the stand that I got along with the 55 gallon, I think that will be a good fit in there. The, uh, media that it comes with, the quick clear, 
the bio uh, rings, if you want to call them that, the uh, carbon, if you use carbon. I mean, it, it's nice to have something that you can basically go start right up, right out of the box. Now, I could take the uh, filter media out of here and squeeze it into the filter and jump start the cycle. So, the unit, um, I did some checking and I did find it for as low as $179 and other places I saw it up just over $200. So on average about $180, $182. So it's really not too bad and they're not competing against themselves on their FX series. Um, would I like to have an FX4 and FX6? Certainly. But for me, this would be the only tank here in my 75 that I would run something like that on because of the amount of cichlids that you see in there. The adults, the babies. I think maybe an FX4 and a 55 eh, might be too much over filtering, but I think it's a unit that if you're in the market for a mid-priced, high quality canister filter, this might be one worth checking out. With all the bells and whistles, and I'll do a follow-up once I get it hooked up to show you the water movement, um, show you how quiet it is, and um, I think I'm going to be impressed. So, Fluval, you hit this one out of the ballpark. I, I think re-engineering it and redesigning it from its predecessors and bringing it into the future was probably one of the best moves that you made. And um, I'm certainly looking forward to putting it through its paces. And outside of that, um, I definitely want to take a minute to thank John and Lisa over at KG Tropicals. There will be a link in the description uh, for doing the giveaway. Uh, I had commented on the video, and it wasn't to win anything. You know, that's I could care less, really. Uh, it was uh, something that I liked, and I put a comment on the video that he put up. Uh, it just so happens to be it was for the giveaway, which... You know, it, it didn't really, I figured I had a better chance of hitting the lottery than winning this. So I was definitely ecstatic when the uh, name generator popped up my name and they won, that I that I won. Um, and Lisa and John are an awesome duo, um, especially on their live streams. They are definitely fun. They're easy to watch uh, they both keep it real which I certainly appreciate in them as well as a lot of you youtubers that I watch that I subscribe to um, I think sharing the good with the bad definitely helps a lot of the novice hobbyists coming in you know see some of the pitfalls that they could experience so as not to be discouraged out there on their own and then just give up on the hobby so Definitely go check out KG Tropical. Tell him the free sent you. Um, I know he does giveaways uh, periodically, um, but outside of that, just the amount and wealth of information and knowledge that he bestows on us is definitely worth just going to check him out for that. So again, John and Lisa, I certainly appreciate the opportunity and I do thank you very much uh, for the filter. And I guess outside of that, I've droned on enough. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this video useful. And that if you just happen to be on the fence of, do I want to buy it? Or do I want to fall away and run away and not buy it? Hopefully it pushes you on the good side. Because I think it's a good filter. I think Fluval did a hell of a job at putting this together. And we'll see how it works um, once I get it set up and rolling. But I really have no doubts that it will not perform to the optimal level. Now over there is the AquaClear 110 hang on back. And the tank was clear. When I put that on, it took clear to a whole new level. So I have a lot of faith in Hagen and Hagen products. And for some of you that don't know, Hagen owns fuel. That's why I mentioned it. So, again, folks, I really appreciate you stopping by. I do apologize that I have not been doing videos, but there's so much going on. 
right here that requires my attention. Um, as I mentioned, I do have some things in the works. Um, the Acurel phosphate reducer pad in there. One in my 10 gallon, uh, kind of show you what I did. Also, I have um, started using a lot of the Fritz products. Um, water conditioner completes and things like that which I will tell you before I even do the video they work fantastic um, I just started testing the algae gone and it works I have I'll say like Dustin says I have a skank tank I have my 10 gallon pea puffer community tank that is inundated with blackbird algae but it actually looks good and my bed is like to hide up in it um, but I started experimenting with the product to see how it works. So you'll have to stay tuned and see you know, how it's working out for me, as well as the uh, phosphate remover pads. But I certainly appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it. Um, definitely trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm just around 700 now. Um, and for the few folks that I told you I was going to get you something, I am definitely um, working on doing that. I actually got the stuff to send it, so I will definitely get it out to you. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. So with that, I'm going to wish you a blessed day, blessed evening, depending on where you are in this big blue wet planet of ours. As always, God bless. And if I had sleeves, I'd keep them wet, but you keep your sleeves wet. This is Robert DeFries Aquarium. Peace out.